Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Expert Iron Man difficulty. Or to be correct, I think it's Expert Expert Iron difficulty. So most difficult game settings overall. We have left our party when we were um, freeing a blacksmith from an abandoned tower. And lo and behold, before we could even get back to the streets, we were ambushed and not only that after we successfully survived the ambush and are now more or less level two we're running into five boars and we can't even distract them so join me when we start today's episode on a big bang our team is very much uh, exhausted and at the same time we're fighting against a plethora of enemies we got some bear traps here. That's not bad. And we got a lot of mud. Unfortunately for us, <clears throat> that the whole situation here doesn't look great. So Dilly could go behind the stones. Namri and Polly hold the front line and Enders Sanders would be out of range couldn't be charged it couldn't be charged it but could engage with that boar <clears throat> and we're trying to use the bear trap here to our advantage okay so this boar and this boar are going first uh, they are running into our front line then this boar and this boar oh yeah well that this is going to suck big times so, what are we going to do? <clears throat> I think try to hit and then rush behind. Good, seven points of damage sounds like a plan. We're moving right into the mud. And I think... Range of the next attack is doubled. Well, that doesn't help us. Yeah, unfortunately, not, not much that we can do. Could move to here, strike, and then f move further. move in double strike deal a lot of damage I think that's what we're going to do not quite there continues to move still not quite there That's just one hit. That's better. Yep, that's exactly what we want. Nice critical hit. Uh, normal hit there. But yeah, the, we need to use JP's ability to AoE attack. All right, focusing fire on this boar. Got the poison going and we can hide behind the stone. Uh, boar can't push through to us, so we're actually okay here. <clears throat> Continuing to hit the boar. It's now bleeding and it's poisoned, so it's having a really, really tough time. Lightning strikes, but boar isn't quite there. Seven points. Um, listen. 25% chance to hit our own guy. Seems like a very bad idea to me.
80-20. Better, but not fantastic. Oh, wow. Yeah. Dilly really needs to only shoot at uh, enemies that are not yet engaged. Good. Question of the day is, do we want to... Continue dealing damage. This guy is still 14. Uh, Paulie still has plenty of hit points. Namri can, however, still take a, uh, take a beating. I think we're okay. Uh, she will potentially be attacked from behind. That's not great, but not much that I can do about it for now. We could try to disengage, but I don't <coughs> think that is needed. <coughs> We're continuing to hit the enemies. Yeah, now Enders is... Unfortunately flanked. The spore goes first, 16. Then the spore, okay. Can't hit two. And both of them are engaged with enders, so... Moves up, hits the boar, can we kill it, potentially not yet. It's down to seven hit points. Nah. We're good. All right. Uh, yeah, we can't disengage here. Hundred percent chance to hit him. Not a hundred percent chance to kill him, unfortunately. Could start to soften it up, though. Enders will get hit as well, so we're... We are forced to continue in a melee brawl. Good. Some more damage here. Enders is still standing okay. Could We could disengage if needed, but I want to keep our Valor points. So we're fighting and it's good. Yeah, Enders is now under immense stress. Let's free up Enders. And the way that I would want to do it is by actually letting him withdraw to maybe here. But we can do that even after we attack, right? So that. And then moves back. 
And hides. Oh. Oh, we oh we ran through the trap. I, that was plenty full stupid. We're down to one hit point. Holy moly! Well, you're staying right here, my friend. End of turn. That gives us back one point. Getting into a good position, and end of turn. Namri is back in melee combat. Fury will unfortunately not uh, kill this guy. But we can move all the way up to here, end the turn. And we're now yet again engaged. Um, four hit points, that's not great. And we can't uh, use bandaging. Moves to here. Shoots from the side. Very nice damage, but unfortunately not good enough yet. Uh, I'm okay with disengaging. That hits both of them. And that very much kills him. Close. Close, very close. All right, so we got to chuck two medicine and three repairs. We are becoming lower and lower on our resources. Whew, that was close. At least we get some good food and leather. We're looting all of it. And can we please level up? Ender Sanders. Could level up um, to level two. Rangers apparently are rogues. Uh, so let's see. Every time this unit ends their turn next to an enemy but is not engaged, get one. Every time we kill one, you get one. Every time... Yeah, I think we're going for the kill here as well. That works very well. And we got the option for dual dexterity. I am going for that. Which means Enders is now a damage monster. His normal strikes do 8 to 10. Because his main stat has increased. That's fantastic. Really good. Namri, on the other hand. The skill is great, but we can't do it when we're in uh, melee combat. So protect of the unit. And all allies in the area gain protection for two rounds. Damage reduction 30%. That is almost a no-brainer. Deals six to, uh, 5 to 6 damage uh, to the target and applies destabilization. Which reduces their guard, okay. Deals 6 damage to all units in the area, 2 times. Usable after 2 attacks. Well, that I don't think that's going to work often. I like the encouragement and the idea of wearing heavy armor. We could either go with double strength plus. A little bit crit plus or movement. I think this is again a no-brainer. Which means she's now also hitting for seven to nine. She's she's very defensive. It's a lot of constitution. That's great, but we're also dealing damage. And so far, I noticed 
dealing a lot of damage is a good thing. Uh, glorious chance to generate one Valor point at the end of the turn. Okay. Yeah, I think we're encouragement is something that we're going to use very often. Now, let's take a look. This here seems like we're doing even more damage. Dex plus four. I appreciate that. So we got a lot of cloth and we got some food. Now what I wonder is, we anyways need to camp, right? What I wonder is, what can we craft? Can't yet craft the cooking pot. Navigation and climbing. Well, ropes would be helpful, but so far we don't have uh, we don't need that. Fishing hooks also not needed. Hmm. Even our pony gets experience. Strange. Well. I'm wondering how can we cook all of those nice item uh, all of those nice meals potentially somewhere else for now we just gotta eat it raw Danger levels average, uh, that is okay. I think we can deal with that. Let's go. So we're getting two raw materials, which is great. Thanks to our workbench. We gain two Valor points, super helpful. And we have now gained another five happiness, which brings us um, uh, even three ac across the threshold of 15. Not only are we getting more experience now, but uh, we have also gained 15 influence. That means we get more of these great bounty contacts. Okay, let's just pick up what we can. And I think those four were already the, uh, the, the four that we have uh, fought were already the contra uh, contract, so we're good. Might I interest you in my humble wares, my good sirs? Well, yes, I'm actually quite interested, but like, what would you give me for the dagger? 20 seems about right. Good, we have 75, which is good. How much does uh, all of that cost? Three for two, six for four. Let's take a bit of everything. Mainly because I want to um, have the option I want to have the option to cook and we're just quickly checking in uh, with the farmland here and then we're going back to the town got some hemp All right, our novice lockpick. pick. 
Tilly G becomes a thief apprentice. A thief of hearts. As he is uh, such a nice guy. Get iron ore. Get more cloth. And a wooden statue. Okay, cool. Well, decent loot. Go away. Go away. I'm starving. I'm beginning to lose control. Okay, we could have just given you some food, but fair enough. A plague rat bit my husband while he was out chopping wood. And Stromcap has cast I have nothing to offer in return. But could you... I heard what my wife told you. She's right, you know. I will eventually turn against her. Do what you must. I'd rather die than hurt her. Recruit for Wolf times five. Yeah, we don't want infect the blood. I would like to recruit him, matter of fact. Wolf times five. So what does that mean? Cool, explorer. Discover five locations. Well, did that give us anything? No, apparently not. Okay, we'll see what we can do here. During the next rest, we will need to have to pay uh, 68. <coughs> That's unfortunate. But a deal is a deal, our wages are due. So question of the day, I suppose, is where do we get wolves from? I would guess somewhere uh, from the woods here. So the idea could be to take on this reward and then go back to town. There is a rat infestation, but before we can go there, we need to fight off uh, even more boars. Yeah, Dilly G definitely doesn't want to stay back there. We got a trap here. Memory. I mean, look, there's a lot of mud over here. We can just nicely funnel them in, right? Right, guys? Yeah, that's one way of approaching the whole thing. This boar goes first, then this boar. Okay, cool. Well, um, how long will that take? Protection for two rounds. Moves to here. Moves to here. Takes a big fat shot. And we are golden. End of turn. All right, encouragement. Yeah, go ahead. Is
Is that happening now? The unit... Okay, so does it cost one upkeep? Very good, so 30% less damage. That's what I'm talking about. Now we can move up to here. Starting hit this guy, 12 points of damage is actually quite a bit. And we're now starting to tank. Don't want to go there. Fifteen points plus poison. Unfortunately, we're now engaged in combat, <clears throat> but so be it. Moves up. Another ten points. We're critting like crazy. A new round is starting. Well, thank you for that. We're moving up. And we'll get extra points. Extra bonus point, but to be spent only in this battle, which is fine. Nice little extra hit. Ella's gain repost. No, we uh, don't need uh, that. Taking less damage, thankfully. Moves to here. It's not engaged yet. Can heal. And can then afterwards take a nice little slash. All right, end of turn. We'll move up. Sneaky, sneaky. Into the back and let's move away. End of turn. How much damage are we dealing A2? Uh, 11, that is maybe enough for a kill. There we go. That uh, gives us another point to spend. Moving over here, end of turn. We're continuing our search for more protection. Slowly but surely I'm getting the hang of it. up to here and teaches this boar a valuable lesson there we go yet another extra point till he ends his turn new round is starting Moving right into the mud. Nice extra damage. Another hit from behind. And Dilly is collecting extra valor points for us. Okay, we get food. Plenty, um, plenty of food. 
pristine fangs. I haven't figured out what they are used for. But I'm seeing a rat infestation and I see that Murphy has gotten a level up. Trusted horse. Yeah, we can give it a bit of extra strength for some damage. Carrying capacity increased by 10. Oh, wow. We could give it armor. Well, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe I underestimated the horsey. Time to deal with that rest infestation. That's a great f uh, final battle for today. Kill the matriarch to end the fight. At the end of each round, the matriarch calls in numerous rats to help her. Try to destroy as many plague infested outgrowth as possible before killing the matriarch to earn extra rewards. Well, first of all, you look absolutely fat. Plague infested outgrowth. Okay, well, we're a bit under leveled for what we're trying to do here. Not sure why Ender Sender starts with two poison. Oh, because we placed him in, in the poison. Alright, Namri here. I'm not so sure if this is going to be a great idea, but I suppose we'll figure it out in a moment. Quartz reds. And what do the reds do? Four to six and fever damage. Wow, oh, that stackable extra damage. No, 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 not good. Well, I think we're just going to go with kill the rat and be gone with it. Good, we're moving in and starting our good old hack and slash. Okay, well, tell you what, can't deny that is a great opportunity to hit and unfortunately we're already poisoned. That gives us one Valor point. And we're standing very close over here. Not even sure if we can get all of those rats down. Moves over here. It's one red. Red is bleeding down to five hit points. Finishes. Ah, the red. Very good. Ah, not so good. We're now engaged with the red on our ranged damage dealer. No, no way. You are kidding me, right? All right, I think it is very clear at this point that we need to kill this uber red as fast as possible. Because the plague infected wounds and so on 
That won't be... That won't be nice. I think we are underleveled. This is not going to work out well. Good. So much for uh, for fighting the rats. We will come back stronger and meaner than before. But before that, let's settle down. Can we? Oh, we can learn something more. Knowledge gained after each battle, plus 5%. Yes, please. Now, whilst we are doing that, let's just double check what else we can do. Cooking pot is an option. So, oh yeah, we're definitely going to do that first craft bonus place at the camp new profession cook well the man of many professions what is cook going to give you two constitution well i know exactly who is going to take that namri you are our cook we're missing salt damn it we can only cook bread so far, but with a little bit more salt, we might be able to to do that. Hit points are fine, but we have infected wounds and laceration. Well, that's not good. Pay the waitress, yes. 10% XP, three happiness. A-okay, let's go, baby. Some companions are now plague ridden because their plague infected wounds were left untreated. What does plague ridden mean? Apparently, Dilly G does not like Namri. Not sure why exactly that is. But guys, please, get yourself together. So what we need is medicine and a lot of money. So we need to go back uh, to the town anyways. These boars, I don't know, uh, the sharp end of a sword from the blunt one. How can I trust them if I barely make it out each fight alive? Hide your fears. 20% fatigue. Compensate. Hmm. Well, happiness goes down. All 
right, apparently things are not always good here. Uh, that rat infestation has really kicked our butts. So now we're off to the town. In the hopes of uh, finally trading and doing a little bit better. There's a enemy party. Who has no problems catching up with us? Merely traveling with that deserter makes you enemies of Count Lahart. And over that man, and we'll forget we ever saw you. Ah, uh, we'll figure that out in the next mission. Perfect cliffhanger. If you think that these guys uh, would need a fashion advisor, then hit the like button and tell them to it off, uh, off there mm -hmm. and uh, see you in two days when we're hopefully kicking their asses or if uh, we feel like it we're handing over our blacksmith thanks for watching guys have a good one and see you in two days bye bye